Okay, have to put these on. I hope now that you, Trish and Keith, are standing together in front of this. Trish and Keith, you were married on the 18th of May, 2019. And today is your first anniversary. So with all your family and close friends around you in virtual space, let's now celebrate your special love for each other and the way it has enriched your lives. A reading from the New Testament. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. So Trish and Keith, if you could stand and face each other now. Marriage expresses the strength of love and devotion enjoyed by two people whose lives have become interwoven. Our horizons always contain mystery, but marriage enables our journey onwards to be warmed and enriched by the presence of another, in whom we invest our trust, our hope, our life. I invite you now to join hands as you exchange your vows. The hand offered by each of you is part of yourself, so cherish the touch, for you touch not only your own life, but also that of another precious person. Be ever sensitive to them, to their hopes and their dreams, and help make their dreams come true. So now, facing each other, holding each other's hands, repeat after me together, and I'll say it in short phrases. Day by day, I promise to hold you in my arms, to grow with you in truth, to laugh with you, to cry with you, to be with you, and to love you with all that I am and all I shall become. And now Keith to say these words to Trish. Trish, no one has touched my life like you. No one can compare with you. No one has made my heart leap, nor my soul dance, nor set my mind alight with joy. In your presence, I have found my rest, my home, myself. In your arms, I have known such peace. Today, I once again give myself to you. And I likewise, Trish, to say these words to Keith. Keith, I once again choose you to be my husband, to stand by your side and sleep in your arms, to be joy to your heart and food to your soul, to be your constant companion and closest friend, to love you and bring out the best in you always, and to be the best that I can be for you. Now if you take your hands with your wedding rings and join those two hands together, Trish, Keith gave you this ring as a sign that he chose you above all others and to share life's journey. May you be encircled by each other's love all the days of your lives. And Keith, Trish gave you this ring as a sign that she chose you above all others to share life's journey. May you now be encircled by each other's love all the days of your life. And so for the blessing, may nothing in all of creation ever separate you from each other, 
All loving God, known in many names, giver of life and love, bless Trish and Keith, whom you have once again joined in marriage. Grant them wisdom and devotion in the rest of their lives together, that each may be to the other a strength in need, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. So unite their wills in your will, and their spirits in your spirit, that they may live and grow together in love and peace all the days of their lives, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you both. I'm so sorry that this is within this context of social distancing. Let's all hope and pray that there's an end to this soon. Have a lovely rest of the day. Thank you. <laughs>